in this tutorial, I'm going to go over a motion trail for Blender 2.77. Now, to even be to get to this stage, first you have to download the script for Python and install it into Blender's add-ons folder. Once you've done that, you got you get you all of that. Install it and and copying the script, you'll be at this stage. Now to move on. The whole purpose of Motion Trail for Blender is that it makes adjusting and customizing your previously made animation a lot more simpler. So, what that means is that we're going to have to create an animation. And I'm going to do that for this default cube we have before us right here. So, to make this cube a little bit more dynamic and vivid I'm just gonna shrink the size right here so you have more room to work with now I'm gonna set the keyframes in and I'm gonna repeat this process a few times to do that to select this icon here and move to the timeline. I'm going to shrink the timeline to about 80. So I got to move to the green line right about there. Hit E. And that should. And what has what is what it's done is it shrank the timeline right here, which is important for animations. Now I'm going to reset it back to zero. And I'm going to press up on the keypad and shift at the same time. I'll move it 10 places up. Once I've done that, I'll move the cube a few places ahead of where it was originally was and then press I to set the keyframe in for the location. What that's done is it's created a short a short bit of movement I'm just going to repeat that process so shift up shift up again move the cube to desired location bring it up a little bit press I set the keyframe in and hopefully that does something I'm just going to repeat that. So, shift up, shift up, and shift up. Move the object physically with the mouse. Press I, set location, yeah. etc. Okay, with that done, what we have is it's the basic form of an animation. So I play to give you a little demonstration example. And that's what we made. Now this is where motion trail comes in. Now the thing about motion trail is when you download Blender initially and you install it, motion trail will not come factory installed with Blender. What Blender does come with is that it comes with Graph Editor. Now, Graph Editor was the original program, or original feature within Blender that uh, enabled animators or users of Blender to 
customize the animation. Oh, it already said animation to the liking. So I'm gonna go into the graph editor, and what you see are these little arms. I allow you to adjust it. But the thing with graph editor, yeah, yeah, it's very detailed. Yeah, it's very precise, but it's a little bit more complicated. And for the most basic purposes, it could be a little complicated. So that's where motion trail comes in. Motion trail allows you to just make the animation a lot more simpler. The only problem with the motion trail is that it is an add-on. And before you could, I will repeat, before you could use motion trail, you have to find a site that has the, the script for the code. Copy that script into, into Note Editor turn it into a Python format and then put it into the add-ons folder for Blender. Once all of that is done, we're going to continue the tutorial demonstration and to do that we go back to 3D view, head to file, go to user preferences and then in the category section hit all. Go to the search icon, and within the search icon, we're going to be looking for motion trail. So I'm just going to use the short form motion, and that should give give us the search for anything that's, that, that that has to do with motion. And what we found, what we got, is the animation motion trail. This is the add-on. You're going to have to check this off. Once it's checked off, hit X. And what that the what that did is that it activated it. Now the only difference with motion trail compared to other editing with with Blender 2.77 is that in order to use it you gotta be in objective mode. Now typically to do detailed editing you normally would have to be in edit mode. But in this case we stand up object mode. That's a little thing that experienced Blender use person, persons that already got themselves familiarized with the mechanics of Blender got to familiarize themselves with. So once that's, once that's understood, we're going to head over to this left table over here and we're going to hit animation. Now with animation completed, and selected, we're going to look very closely and you will see animation and, and motion trail. So, once we added, activated that motion trail and add ons, it should just automatically, almost secretly, appear in the animation tab. Now, you're going to have to expand this right here and then first thing we gotta do is hit this button called enable motion trail enable it now if everything goes according to plan it should give you the visual example of the animation that you just made previously now motion trail Basically, it gives you a, a, line, a black line, and with, on this black line are the little dots and arms that you use to adjust your animation however you so choose. So, I'm just going to pick this little arm, this section right here, right click, press G, and it, what that does is it frees it up and allows us to move it in the direction that we we desire. So I'm gonna just gonna set it up just like this. So if it works as it should, it now should have adjusted the course of this object in the animation. So I'm gonna hit play. And there you have it. It altered the course of that animation.
and I could do that again and again for each point. Now, what you have noticed, because of the end, I have altered it, and it has a specific time that the animation has begun. It's just made it a little bit quicker, but that brings us to another section of motion chore that allows you to view the speed of the animation. So I'm guessing wherever you see it's red is where the speed picks up, and wherever it turns purple to dark, dark blue is where it slows down. And it also has acceleration. It gives you a little visual on your object's acceleration. And there you have it. And that, that's basically all you need to know about motion chart for a blender.